In the complex arena of global geopolitics, the actions of leaders in far-flung corners of the world can send ripples of concern across continents. One such leader, Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso, has been making waves by forging unconventional alliances that challenge the established order. Traoré's strategic engagement with North Korea and Russia has raised eyebrows in Western capitals, echoing historical patterns where leaders who sought independence from Western influence met tragic ends. As Traoré walks the path set by Burkina Faso's iconic leader Thomas Sankara, the world watches with a mixture of fascination and apprehension. What exactly is Traoré doing that has sparked anxiety in Western powers, and how might these bold moves shape the future of Burkina Faso? We will dive into this in a second. Take a moment to like the video and hit the subscribe button below. Kindly share with friends so they know what is happening in Africa. Ibrahim Traoré, since assuming the presidency of Burkina Faso, has been resolutely implementing the vision of his predecessor, Thomas Sankara. Sankara's tragic fate serves as a stark reminder of the risks associated with distancing a nation from Western dominance. Traoré, undeterred by historical precedents, seeks to lead Burkina Faso towards prosperity, autonomy, and strength by diminishing Western influence and fostering new relationships with non-Western nations. Traoré's actions have stirred discomfort among Western powers, who perceive his moves as a threat to their dominance. Burkina Faso's attempts to restrict Western access to natural resources at a higher cost and form alliances with nations considered adversaries have positioned Traoré as a daring and fearless leader in Africa. The recent developments, including talks with Russia on military collaboration and a declaration of sovereign partnerships with nations of Burkina Faso's choosing, have heightened tensions. A significant source of concern for Western powers is Traoré's engagement with Russia, particularly in the realm of military collaboration. Talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin and subsequent discussions with Russia's Deputy Defense Minister signify a shift away from the influence France once exerted through training Burkina Faso's soldiers. This move has prompted Western powers to explore options to either replace or potentially remove Traoré, akin to the fates of leaders like Sankara. Burkina Faso's ties with Moscow have flourished amid growing anti-French sentiments in Western Africa. Traoré's administration expelled French troops and terminated agreements with France, signaling a desire for new forms of cooperation. Burkina Faso's direct alignment with Russia challenges the expectation that nations should perceive adversaries through the lens of Western interests. In a bold move that underscores Burkina Faso's commitment to diversifying alliances, the country has entered into an agreement with Russia to construct a nuclear power plant. This agreement, signed during the Russian Energy Week in Moscow, aims to address Burkina Faso's electricity challenges and emphasizes the nation's readiness to work with all nations irrespective of Western opinions. Adding to the complex web of alliances, Traoré has expressed Burkina Faso's interest in acquiring weapons from North Korea. Despite international regulations prohibiting arms trading with North Korea, Traoré's commitment to choosing allies based on national interests sends a resolute message about Burkina Faso's determination to assert its independence. As Burkina Faso, under Traoré's leadership, navigates the intricate landscape of international relations, the consequences of these alliances will undoubtedly shape the nation's future. Traoré's dedication to pursuing independent partnerships challenges the historical pattern of African leaders aligning with the West and prioritizing Western interests. The evolving dynamics in Burkina Faso highlight the nation's commitment to making sovereign decisions based on its interests, even if it means diverging from the expectations of Western powers. In a world where geopolitical dynamics are in constant flux, Ibrahim Traoré's bold moves raise important questions about the future of African diplomacy. Are we witnessing the emergence of a new era where African nations prioritize their own interests over historical alliances? And as Traoré treads the path set by Sankara, what implications will Burkina Faso's choices have on the broader geopolitical landscape? Only time will reveal the answers to these pressing questions as the world watches Burkina Faso navigate the complexities of international relations with unwavering determination. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.